You've seen me doing executions where I'll label a breaker and I'm entering inside of the range that's defined as a breaker, whereas you classically have learned and, and seen me define the breaker being utilized after it gets above it and comes back down. Then you see me buy. It. That's the low level understanding of a breaker. It's a very simple conceptual idea. But if I'm bullish, okay, if I'm really bullish, I can use a lower time frame entry inside of this, knowing that I'm positioning myself within order flow that later on, if it comes back down, touches again, that could be a pyramid entry for me. But if it goes above it here, by a little bit and rapidly trades down below this low here, then that to me is problematic for it to go up into the four hour daily and then refined area up here we have as that liquidity void. There's an hierarchy to using all these things and it's not an easy thing to explain for someone to watch one time and understand right away. See how fast we rolled up into it there? So there is liquidity resting right above that 10 o'clock high. You want to measure how fast it wants to reprice above that if at all, okay? But this breaker is also something, if, if it fails to go higher, every one of my PD arrays can be used like an inversion fair value gap. Every PD array has an inversion aspect to it. So if we were, for instance, let's just say this, say, say I was hardline bearish, I was really bearish. I could take a short in this as it's trading rate where it's at. I'm not saying that's what I want to do. I'm just saying that if there's an instance where I am bearish, I would sell in that like that. And if you watch me do the executions and I've done this before for students, they're like, what are you using there? It's the fact that I'm looking at something that would otherwise be viewed if it was viewed diametrically opposed to the sentiment I'm using in trades, it would be used bullishly. Same way I use with the retail logic. If like if I talk about a trend line phantom where it looks so obvious that there is some supposed diagonal support or resistance. If I can clearly see that in the time frame I'm looking at, I know it's going to draw to the midpoint and draw to that liquidity. So what am I doing? I'm capitalizing and attacking retail logic.